the introduction to this proposal is a small piece of the conversation between architect Kathy Pereski and I at the Parthenon last November. It was during this discussion that this proposal began. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these blocks are the parts of the walls that have been taken down. This is a reconstruction of the puzzle I'm working on personally. Uh -huh. This dowel here, this is from the upper part, you see. Uh -huh. This connects these two. But these little things that you see here sculpted mm -hmm. are the parts that the, the metal things were there was a little one uh, pry hole that was like this. Uh -huh. And it, I'll show you down. We'll, we have one ready, and you can see it just like it is supposed to be. And it, it held the block not only from the lower to the upper, upper layer, but it kept but it from right, shifting. From shifting. Yeah. So all these little things give me the information that each mm -hmm. block has. And these have to buckle up three dimensionally. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is what I wish I could do. I mean, find something that would mm -hmm. give me directly with all the information of each block. And he would give me the possibilities of, of, the, of the puzzle, which mm -hmm. pieces could go next yeah. to which. I believe I can solve the challenge posed by architect Parasi by using computer programs and the latest measuring technology. To demonstrate how this would work, I recreated a full-size styrofoam model of block Ni 9074 from the cella. Although not an exact replica, it allows me to show how the five-step process works. The five steps are 1. Scanning existing blocks 2. Typical block analysis 3. Existing block analysis 4. Comparative block analysis and 5. Cross-validation. The first step is to scan each block to create a 3D image. That will be done with a gantry specifically designed to work in the close confines on the Acropolis. The gantry will lift, scan, and replace the blocks. Solar panels will provide the power. On the gantry, the blocks will be scanned for geometric, parametric, and surface qualities using probe and laser technology demonstrated here in a laboratory. The second step, typical block analysis, will give us exact dimensions of what each block type looked like when it was carved in the time of Pericles. The research by Dr. Caress and others will be used to identify the number of block types and how many of each type was used to build the cella of the Parthenon and their original positions. Existing blocks that have remained whole will be used to confirm the dimensions where applicable. A typical block for every unique condition in the cello wall will be drawn as shown here in a three-dimensional parametric computer model for use in comparative analysis. In step three, the geometric, parametric, and surface qualities of each block will be evaluated in the existing block analysis phase. The raw computer data will be converted into full surface computer models so that each block can be test fit to other existing blocks. And this will allow us to calculate the dimensions of new marble needed to replace any pieces determined missing. The information crucial for reassembly will be processed for use in the next step. In step four, comparative block analysis, the existing blocks will be compared with the original blocks to see which they best match, 
Once we know what type of block they are, we can see how they all fit together to rebuild the cellar wall. That includes identifying the mortises for stacking joints, butt joints, and the clamp requirements to ensure as close to original fit and position of each block as possible. In the final step, cross-validation, each block of the computer models created in step 3 will be turned into one-tenth scale physical models. Several systems were studied to select the most appropriate technology. Systems include stereolithography paper models, ABS plastic models, and plastic resin models. I selected plastic resin models for this project because the models have a high degree of detail, a minimum build time, at a minimal cost. The plastic resin model was built in a vat of liquid resin shown here. A laser traces the cross-sectional outline of the block, curing the liquid in its path. The model is built up in one-tenth millimeter layers. The process shown here has been tailored to the challenge of rebuilding the cella of the Parthenon. It is important to note that the equipment and programs used here are tried and proven technology, but they have never been combined for such a noble purpose. With your support, this proposal can unlock the secrets of the cella walls and support the timely and safe reconstruction of the Parthenon.